Do you feel like your attitude towards women has changed since having daughters? Nah, I still look at Pornhub, and <laughs> blacked is my favorite category. <laughs> um. There are three kinds of people in this world. Those who have hated Kanye since he interrupted Taylor Swift. He's a jackass. Those who will excuse anything he does so long as the next album is gas. That's why he's the GOAT! And intellectuals, like me and you, who just want to know. Is Kanye a good dad? I think sometimes people are kind of bashful to be super dads. Everybody wants to be like a cool dad, and sometimes you just gotta like wear the fire hat. You know what I mean? We will start, as all good learning does, with bite-sized internet clips. And what's the most rewarding thing about being a mom? I would say when the kids tell you they love you. Kanye, what's the best part about being a dad? The kids. People like to make fun of Kanye here. Kim and the NPC interviewer <laughs> laugh at him. But who are you to judge? Are you a black millionaire from the south side of Chicago getting interviewed by Vogue? I didn't think so. I'm the source of authority on this. And Kim's answer is terrible. How's Taco Bell gonna make money off of that? What do I like best about being a mom? Hmm, probably the validation. I just like when the kids give me props. I don't really care what they're up to. That's why I had kids. I wanted somebody who was gonna be like me that would like me. I want mommy, I want milk, I want to be held, I want to be comforted. That's not goodness, that's narcissism. Kim is obviously the head empty bottomless pit Wojak, whereas Sigma Kanye's answer is base. He loves the kids. Case in point, this video of Northwest innocently dancing with a mystery child. But then this dude pulls up and before we can even worry about him creeping on the kids, bald spot, shave it off buddy, it's over. He's got this weird bag strapped to his leg. He's wearing all black except for this ugly greenish brown bandana thing. Even if he has good intentions, he has no drip, bone dry. I would not want him coming anywhere near my kids. But oh no, he's getting near the kids. Then Kanye appears from out of nowhere. Apparently despite managing his Sunday service choir, he was still keeping an eye on his daughter. So it seems like things are about to get ugly. Kanye's gonna shout at this guy, shove him, and scare the kids. But no, the younglings don't even stop dancing. He lifts one hand and uses the force to push the disgusting man away while smiling. And Northwest clearly loves her dad. She's dressed up as him on at least three occasions. She'll go to her dad, she'll be like, Dad is the best. He has it all figured out. He doesn't have a nanny. He doesn't have a chef. He doesn't have security. But what does Kanye have to say about his kids? Let's look at the music. Niggas is savage. Niggas is monsters. Niggas is pimps. Niggas is players. To niggas have daughters. Yes, I know Kanye didn't write the lyrics to Violent Crimes, but he recorded it. He put it on a self-titled album. I think he kind of liked the sentiment. And there's a little bit of nuance to the sentiment. He's not just protective to the maximal degree, he recognizes that being overly protective would drive his children away from his protection. Also, he recognizes the hypocrisy of him feeling this way about his daughters, considering how he's treated women in the past. Put my fist in, I like a civil rights sign. I do like to advocate for the devil though, so we could probably throw out this whole song as evidence, considering in it he says, now I see women as something to nurture, not something to conquer. But when served the softball interview question of, do you see women differently now that you've had daughters? He swings a, nah, I still look at Pornhub, about a song that he did write. Although if you take his word for it, it was co-written by his dead mother and grandmother. Aside from having an instrumental from the best Beatle, Only One is a lullaby Kanye wrote for his first daughter, North and it is sweet and beautiful, and it segues me perfectly to the next leg of my Kanye is a good dad narrative. Why is Kanye a good dad? After dropping one of his best albums, Kanye's mother Donda died, and he was so devastated that he proceeded to drop his second worst album. As for Kanye's father, that's explained by Kanye's best unreleased song, Mama's Boyfriend, which just so happens to have been produced by Q-Tip, the leader of the best rap group of all time. But that's beside the point that Kanye lost the most important person in his life who raised him alone, and that motivates him to be the best dad he can be. He is very emotional about this. My mom saved my life. My dad wanted to abort me. Some powerful stuff, folks. But let's keep rolling that clip. I almost killed my daughter! 
given that you're a pro-life Christian, I don't really know if I'm rocking with you publicly revealing that you at one point wanted to terminate the pregnancy of your daughter during a campaign rally to become president. And this is sort of where the cracks in the Kanye's a good dad narrative start to form. Ye has multiple songs where he talks about cheating on his wife, even on Bound 2, which is one of his best songs, which is supposed to be a love song to Kim. He raps, Have you ever asked your bitch for other bitches? Side note, people like to use the sample from Bound 2 and like TikToks and stuff, but they keep getting the lyrics wrong and I'm very upset about it. It's bound to fall in love. Fall in. It's not falling in love. You can't be bound to- That doesn't grammatically make sense. sense. It's going to happen. Falling is it present can't be both. Anyways, on the song Real Friends, Kanye raps- I had a cousin that stole my laptop that I was fucking bitches on. Pay that nigga 250000 just to get it from him. Who's gonna tell Kanye that he wasted the 250 k The mic was on in the studio, buddy. We all heard you. You released this as the lead single for your album. You told more people about your bitch fucking laptop than any cousin of yours could dream of. How are you gonna act like the victim of divorce when you cheated on your wife and when you got blackmailed on it, you paid them off and then told the whole world anyway? Whatever. Here I go with a new chick and I know what the truth is. Still playing after two kids. Still playing after two kids. I thought Neighbors was players till Neighbors had daughters. Really doesn't seem great to have all these lyrics about cheating on your wife that your children will definitely hear, but let's just pretend that your kids are all Swifties. They don't really care about your music. They don't listen to it. True love shouldn't be this complicated. But what about your legacy in general that they're gonna sort of be forced to inherit? By your own admission, you're the new Kanye, the bad mood Kanye, the always rude Kanye, spaz in the news Kanye. For Christ's sake, you were yelling at Sway. How, oh, Sway? Take a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, water. man. He's not Charlemagne. I don't. I didn't like that at all. Yeah, that's great. He's not even Funk Flex. Me and Flex looking in the index for buff net niggas just for some hot butt sex. Mm. He's Sway. He's chill like that. Look how cool his hat is. Kanye would even later admit he was wrong. I will go ahead and say Sway had the answer. But you know what? I'm gonna give a free pass to Kanye's general demeanor and being rude to people. Hey, good morning, Kanye. Shut the fuck up. Throwing people's phones, not kissing his wife in the Jumbotron, making a music video of murdering Pete Davidson, supporting Donald Trump, not actually rapping in the lift yourself beat. I'm gonna let all that go. Maybe you think I shouldn't, but I'll let Paul McCartney speak for me. Yeah, but it's, it's Kanye. Unfortunately, there are a few key moments in Kanye's career that are a little bit more difficult to excuse. La 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 means George Bush doesn't care about black people. That's just facts, Kanye. You're killing it. Very cool. Yo, Taylor. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. For one, Kanye was severely off the henny that night, and he was trying to make a point about racial bias in the VMAs. There's three huge issues with that. One. Even if that's true, you should make a statement afterwards. Two. Beyonce did not make one of the greatest videos of all time. This is just a choreographed dance in black and white with lighting effects. Kanye had already put out better music videos than this. It's a good music video. I'll happily watch Beyonce gyrating her hips for as long as anybody wants me to. But it's nothing to write your senator about. Three. Taylor Swift won Best Female Video. Who do you think won Best Video? It was Beyonce. If Kanye just sat through the rest of the awards show, he would have realized he had nothing to complain about. So maybe this is an L for Kanye's legacy, but actually, no, I don't care. Kanye can do anything to anybody, especially some white blonde millionaire, and I will not care as long as he keeps dropping classic albums. Me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that bitch famous. God damn! It does not matter if that was a horrible thing to say. 
it goes hard. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? If you're incredibly charitable here, he's kinda not wrong. He's just trying to take a complicated academic subject and connect it to people being mad at him for supporting a bad president. And I'm not really gonna get into it, but basically there were psychological tactics that were used that made slaves gigantic air quotes choose to not escape and if you're having a manic episode you might express this concept in this horribly stupid way the thing about the red hat that drove me to a point of exhaustion which was misdiagnosed by a i'm not going to say what race what people uh doctor and what hospital and what media went to we know i can't say that it was a Jewish doctor. I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. So here's your chance to clarify what you meant by DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. I've been wronged so many times by Jewish businessmen. Why do you keep using okay, their religion, let me, let me, let their me, ethnicity? Okay, Why do you keep doing up, that? Let me update it then. Like the business people that have raped my people that just so happen to be Jewish. I think what, by doing what you've just done, I find that I'm not even Jewish and I find that offensive. You're being a Karen. A world Jewish conspiracy or of Jews controlling the media, economy, government, or other societal institutions. But isn't that what you said? That Jews run everything? Yeah, but that actually is considered to be anti-Semitic. There is no defense for this one. This is just a textbook example of racism. But wait. What about the golden rule? Kanye can get away with anything as long as he keeps dropping heat. I'm anti-Semitic, I just fucked a Jewish bitch. Well, the results are in, folks. Kanye is a bad dad. The new song was bad, the last album was mid. If he dies tomorrow, he leaves his children a legacy that he destroyed. And who knows if he could even make an album good enough to make up for being overtly racist for months on end. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is Kanye a good dad? Would you want him to adopt you? Should I adopt Kanye? Please subscribe to the channel, share the video, and remember, just because you can't get your money up or your funny up doesn't mean you should hate the Jews.